Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today we continue uh, Unit uh, 7 Department. Last time we discussed uh, part one of the unit, but today we continue with the uh, use of propositions. Um, so you're supposed to learn uh, some extra propositions, Rufil Jariani. Also, you should know how to give directions to people when they ask you about uh, how to reach a certain destination or how to go to somewhere. So you can guide them, give them directions. Also, how to use um, this and that uh, and their plural forms, um, these and those, when you refer to something. Um, so I'm sharing the book with you now. The first exercise, uh, exercise five on page 45. So you're going to listen to a, a short conversation here between two people. So Jim arrives at the security cabin, okay? And so he will ask the security man for directions and he is going to tell him how to reach to the offices. Um, so I'll give you one minute to read the conversation here before we listen fully to it in order to fill in the gaps. So read the, the conversation. I don't think there are any difficult words. Here we have the word factory. Factory this is where things are made. Must not any factory. Offices, we know offices. Uh, look for. Just the verb lock means the answer, but lock for is means lock for. It's like search for. Yep, sound lock for. Okay. So I'll give you one minute and then we start listening to the audio. Good morning, sir. Hello. I have an appointment at Whitley's. Do you want the factory or the offices? The offices. Well, you go along this road and turn right. Go past the factory to the offices, but don't park there. Look for the car park sign and drive down below the offices and go into the car park there. That's great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Some some of you may have code or and got the message and they know which words to use to fill in these gaps. Maybe some of you not, so we're going to run it for one more time. So just listen again, please. Audio 39. Good morning, sir. Hello. I have an appointment at Whitley's. Do you want the factory or the offices? The offices. Well, you go along this road and turn right. Go past the factory to the offices, but don't park there. Look for the car park sign and drive down below the offices and go into the car park there. That's great. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'm sure some of you already got it. So we have you go. Go. Yes, first one, go along. You go along this road and turn right. And then uh, number two, go. Go past the factory to the offices, go past, P-A-S-T. 
So go past the factory to the offices, but don't park there. Uh, look for the car park sign. Look for the car park sign and drive, drive down, very good. Drive down below the offices and go into the car park there. Go into the car park there. So number one will be along. You go along. Go along this road. Go along this road. Along, A-L-O-N-G. Uh, number two, go past. Go past. Go past the factory to the office. Go past. You foot min or you add dominion. Number three, drive down. Drive down. So when you drive a car like a road down, the Imanzal or Mahabat, below the offices and go, the last one, go into, go into the car park. Go into Yatkhul, go into. Okay, so if you look at um, the the diagrams in exercise six, the next exercise, so we can see what are the real meaning of these propositions. So look at the ball, and then you have an arrow. So the ball is like getting out of, so out of, out of, when something is out of another thing. The ball is like moving Moving up, up, ala. So this direction is up. Number three, we see the ball داخل into, into. Very good, into. Number four is along. Yes, along. So the ball is like moving along. Number five, the ball is just going past. Going past. And the last one is the, the ball is going down, going down. So these are directions here, propositions of directions. And some in many times, often you need these propositions when you describe directions or when you telling somebody how to go to a certain place. We need them, or we should be aware of them. Okay. Um, exercise seven, you need to have a partner, somebody to talk to. So you can give them like directions how to go to certain places, like how to go to a bank, how to go to the, caf the cafeteria, how to go somewhere. Okay. So just to exercise or how to just to know, exercise yourself or train how yourself how to give directions. Okay. Um, look at this, that. Look here, we have how to use this, that, these, those. So this and that are used for singular when you refer to things that are singular. Ashia mufrad. Okay, this al qarib, for things which are near or close, and that lil baid for things that are far or not here. And we have the plural of this is these, these, and the plural of that is those, those. So this these that uh, those okay so let's come complete this conversation in order to know how to use it so if somebody is giving somebody else something so it means that he has this thing in his hand yeah and he it's 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 he's holding it with in his hand so this means no karib we use this so number one would be this is this is your visitor's pass your visitor's pass okay this is your visitor's pass uh number two he's you know these people are uh, sorry those people are standing somewhere and he's referring to them they are not standing with them they are somewhere else 
away from them. ليسوا قريبين منهم يعني بعيد ويشير إليهم. Uh, in this case, we use those. So those are two of my colleagues. Those. هناك. Those. How of, um, so it refers to uh, people who are away, for example, or plural. Those. Okay, here, I think he is just standing there, referring to their products, and they are just close to them. So it's going to use these, very good. These are our products. These, these, like no gamma, will karibi, but these are our products. Time. هنا هو يشير لمبنى والمبنى بعيد عنهم يعني إلى حد ما هم شايفينه بس it's still away يعني they need to walk to reach it so what is what is so it's something singular مفرد فيستعمل that what what is what is that building what is that building it's the warehouse مستودع warehouse so it's something not close بعيد singular that what's that building what is that building okay this this that these gamma this gamma karib those gamma that gamma بعيد. okay so this هذا that ذاك these هؤلاء قريب those أولئك أولئك للبعيد من الوراء okay but this هذا القريب مفرد قريب that مفرد بعيد ذاك these هؤلاء جمع قريب those أولئك جمع جمع للبعيد okay we'll move on Okay, so if you're talking to a partner here in this conversation, you're going to say, this is my desk. This is my desk. Is that your book? Is this that your book? Those are friends of mine. Those are friends of mine. طيب لو انت بتشير للقلم والقلم ده على الديسك قدامك قريب منك فتقول this is my pen okay. this is my pen او لكتاب قريب تقول this is my book okay. طيب لو انت بعيد عن السيارة والسيارة ركنة في المواقف بعيد في مسافة كبيرة بينك وبينها but you can see it طبعا so you can refer to it that, that is my car that is my car that is my car بعيد طيب أو البيت بتاعك في آخر الشارع وبتشير ليه فتقول that is my house that is my house طب لو أنت واقف قدامه وبتشير ليه هتقول this is my house this is my house alright uh, look at this um, how to give directions when we give directions we use the imperative imperative اللي هو بنسميه في اللغة العربية الفعل الأمر بمعنى أنه تقول لإنسان افعل لا تفعل النفي بتاعه لا تفعل افعل do something لا تفعل do not do something ودايما الفعل الامبيراتيف بتخاطب به المخاطب المخاطب اللي هو you انت second, per, second person pronoun يعني تكلم حد مفرد او جمع بتكلمهم اوكي ف بتستعمل you فدايما بنستعمل في الامبيراتيف الفيرب في السيمبل فورم التصريف الاول للفعل فتقول مثلا go Drive, play, study, open, close. استعمل بس الفيرب بدون أي إضافة. وفي الإمبيراتيف زي ما قلنا إحنا بندي الأمر للشخص اللي قدام سواء هو مفرد اللي هو يو يعني أو هم جمع بنكملهم بنكلمهم عنهم يو برضه. طيب ولكن uh, it, it looks like you are giving orders يعني إنه أكنك بتعطي أوامر مع إنك you are giving directions بتودي اتجاهات أو بتنصح. ففي الحالة دي you, you may say you go فبدل ما تقول لحد 
go along this road امشي في الطريق هذا عاوزها في هذا الطريق هتقول له you go along this road كده يعني more polite تمام كما لو كان هو اللي هيمشي مش انت اللي بتأمره يمشي enter your password or you enter your password ف if you are talking to a friend or يعني ما فيش formality ما فيش رسميات so you can just use imperative type if you want to look أو sound more polite أكثر تقدما خاصة لو شخص أكبر منك في السن فهي say you go you go you go along this road you go right you go left استعمل قبلا you okay to give directions right we move on Uh, let's discuss uh, this question. When you, uh, when a visitor arrives at your company, where do they go first? A visitor شخص زائر يعني. When they arrive at, at your company, where do they go first? The visitors بيروح فين? Uh, through a security gate to reception. Do they sign in? Sign in عادة the visitors be sign in يعني يسجل اسمه تاريخ الزيارة وموعدها و... رقم الهوية for security reasons مثلا طيب um, so each company has its own يعني protocol where visitor will go usually if it's a very big company they need to go through the security gate and from there um, they go to reception after that and the reception will guide them where to go and usually they sign in at the security gate or in the reception itself. Okay, we're going now to listen to a conversation between Jen Perman uh, and the receptionist. Okay, so read these questions. I give you one minute so it, you prepare yourself for what the audio is talking about. Okay, are you ready? Building 40. Good morning. I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. Okay. What's your name, please? Jim Berman. One moment. Can you sign here, please? Sure. And this is your visitor's pass. Okay. Thanks. Please take a seat. Miss Gonzalez will be right down. Hello, Jim. Hi, Olivia. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Did you find us okay? Yes, no problem. Your directions were very clear. Good. Would you like a coffee first? Actually, I'm fine. Okay. Let me show you around. Great. So, this is production. And that's the main production line. How many people work on it? About 30, I think. But let me introduce you to Diego. He's in charge of production. Right. You remember the word in charge of, in charge of, and uh, last time means responsible for. Okay, we're going to listen to this audio again, just in case you missed something. Okay, listen again, please. Audio 40. Good morning. I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. Okay, what's your name, please? Jim Berman. One moment. Can you sign here, please? Sure. And this is your visitor's pass. Okay, thanks. Please take a seat. Miss Gonzalez will be right down. Hello, Jim. 
Hi, Olivia. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Did you find us okay? Yes, no problem. Your directions were very clear. Good. Would you like a coffee first? Actually, I'm fine. Okay. Let me show you around. Great. So, this is production, and that's the main production line. How many people work on it? About 30, I think. But let me introduce you to Diego. He's in charge of production. All right. So we have three questions here. The first question is, what does a receptionist give him? So what does a receptionist give Mr. Jim Perman? What is that thing that she gave him in order to pass? She gave him something. She asked him to sign, to sign for something and he took it. Okay, so it's called, mm -hmm. who knows? A visitor's, a visitor's pass, a visitor's pass. So something you hang around your neck when you go into a big company. Okay, the second thing, the second question, does Jam want a coffee? She offered him a coffee, a drink, but he said, I'm fine, which means no. So he didn't want a coffee, no. Um, so no, he doesn't. What does Diego deal with? Diego deals with, or he was in charge of, very good, production production okay uh, let's move to exercise three we have here um, a list of verbs like sign see is show like take introduce have will fight so we have a list of verbs here and we need to fill in these gaps using these verbs and also to know who is talking in each sentence or question who is saying it is it the, the receptionist? We're using R as abbreviation. Receptionist from the verb receive. We have the verb receive, yes, taqbil or yatalaqa. Receptionist, muazzaf or muazzafat l'istakbal. Reception is istakbal, the place itself, uh, or the act of receiving someone. The visitor from the verb visit, as zair of the era, visitor, and we use V um, to denote this word. And we have the host, host, is going to visit. It's a meal host, mudif. host, okay. Um, standing, H standing for host. So for example here, I do what an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. So it should be have. I have an appointment. I have an appointment. Yani an appointment with Miss Olivia Gonzalez. Miss Gonzalez. Who is talking here? Ili bitkalim hina al visitor. Hawa ili gay zuri al sharika. Fa al I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. V. So can you hear, please? So I think now you need to try to think of these verbs. Sign means to sign. What is the meaning of sign? Yuaka. To see, yara. Is, law verb to be from mudara, be gimal mufrad, is, he, ma'adamar, he, she, it, or a is mufrad. Show, show means yuri, or yuzhir, or yubayin. Like, you have. Take, yeah, introduce, you cut them. Have, لديه, مقول, I have an appointment, يعني عندي أو لدي موعد. Have, verb to have, بس لما يكون main verb يعني. Well, سوف, well. 
to express future I'm stable and stable well followed by a verb find the agit okay so think of these sentences and, and how to fill in um, and I give you a couple of minutes and then we listen again to uh, audio 40 to make sure your answers are are correct okay just two minutes try to put these verbs correctly in these sentences. Okay, we listen now to uh, audio 40 again to make sure our answers are correct. Audio 40. Good morning. I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. Okay. What's your name, please? Jim Berman. One moment. Can you sign here, please? Sure. And this is your visitor's pass. Okay. Thanks. Please take a seat. Miss Gonzalez will be right down. Hello, Jim. Hi, Olivia. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Did you find us okay? Yes, no problem. Your directions were very clear. Good. Would you like a coffee first? Actually, I'm fine. Okay. Let me show you around. Great. So, this is production, and that's the main production line. How many people work on it? About 30, I think. But let me introduce you to Diego. He's in charge of production. Okay. 
Have you got your answers? Have you checked your answers? If not, we may listen again once more and then we move to the next exercise. So one more listening. Audio 40. Good morning. I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. Okay. What's your name, please? Jim Berman. One moment. Can you sign here, please? Sure. And this is your visitor's pass. Okay. Thanks. Please take a seat. Miss Gonzalez will be right up. Hello, Jim. Hi, Olivia. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Did you find us okay? Yes, no problem. Your directions were very clear. Good. Would you like a coffee first? Actually, I'm fine. Okay. Let me show you around. Great. So, this is production, and that's the main production line. How many people work on it? About 30, I think. But let me introduce you to Diego. He's in charge of production. Okay, gentlemen. Just to make sure you choose the right verb for the uh, for correct answer. So I have an appointment, number one. I have an appointment with Olivia Gonzalez. And this is a visitor talking here. The person who is visiting, he is the one who is talking. Can you, can you, yep, can you sign here, please? Sign here, please, Yuoka. Um, who's talking here? The receptionist, very good. So we put R here, the receptionist. So can you sign, sign here, please? Number three, this, this usually is followed by is, or will, or was, so we have is here. This is, let no singular, this is al-qarib, al-qarib. This is your visitor's pass. This is your visitor's pass. This is your visitor's pass. Again, who is talking here? The receptionist, R, we put R here. Number four, please take a seat. Take a seat. Please take a seat. Take a seat. But again, the receptionist, R, talking R, we put R here. Number five, Miss Gonzalez will be right down, will be. She will be right down. So, Tati Hadanian. Um, again, R, reception is talking. Number six, he said, nice to, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Um, this is the visitor talking. He said, nice to see you again. And she said to him, nice to see you too. So nice to see you again. The visitor, V, we put V. Number seven, did you? Did you find us okay? Did you find us okay? So was it easy to arrive? Yani to sabshuna? Did you find us okay? Um, a little bit kelly mehna taman el host. We are Miss Gonzalez. Um, number seven. Number eight. Would you? Would you like a coffee? Would you like a coffee? To have bulkawa. Would you like a coffee? Hal to have to shop kawa. He said. Uh, I'm fine. Actually, I'm fine. Um, so here the host is offering him to drink. The host. H. Okay, number nine. Let me let me show you around. Let me show you around. Let me show you around. Again, the host. We put H, H here. The last sentence, number 10. Let me let me introduce you to Diego. Introduce you to Diego. Academically, Diego. Let me introduce you to Diego and academically Diego. Here I will talk about the host. 
okay? So make sure you uh, understand the meaning of these verbs and make sure you put them in the right position. Mm, okay, you should listen again to check your answers in three and four. We already did this before. Um, so here, question number one, two here in exercise five, what question does Jim ask about production? What question does Jim ask about, about production? What did he ask, gentlemen? He said, do you remember? Mm -hmm. He said, how many people work on it? How many people work on it? I mean, the main production line. How many people work on it? Okay. Okay, last question here in this exercise. Think of three more questions a visitor could ask about a place of work. And if he visitor Bizur Sharika, or Makan Amal, he know al asil al mukinisal. So let's think about some questions here. So this is like a scenario of Tarania. So you may ask, consider yourself as a visitor. Intel is there. You may ask about what? And you must say, who is responsible for production line? Or who is responsible for um, the quality department? What do you produce here? What do you produce here? What do you produce here? Uh, what's over there? What's over there? Um, is there a cafeteria for staff? Is there a canteen for staff? And you get cafeteria or staff What do you do in this part of the factory? Or in this section of the factory? Okay, so these are the questions you ask about, like um, how many do you produce a day or how much do you produce a day? So how much do you produce a day? Or how many items? How many do you produce a day? Uh, do you ever close or for holidays? for holidays or on holidays do you export these products do, do you export these products uh, do you import the raw material do you import so think about questions like these yeah, when you visit a place of work okay we move on here you know we skip this because you need to speak to a partner and um, anyway look at these expressions here important still when you arrive at a reception or security you say you greet the, the person you say good morning or good afternoon or good evening and you say I have an appointment with and you name the person you are meeting whether he's a director or a manager or a IT or whatever you say I have an appointment with um, sometimes they ask you can you sign here please and they give you your visitors pass. this is your visitors pass take a seat sit down um, and this person will come down or will be right down to see you um, so and when you you see the person you're meet, going to meet or you have an appointment with you say nice to meet you Oh, see you again. Oh, nice to see you again. If you met him before or here before, you say, nice to see you again. Uh, it's, if it's the first time you say, nice to meet you. Did you find us okay? This is if you are the host, you can say, did you find us okay? Uh, if you are the host, you offer, offer people a drink. Would you like a coffee? Would you like tea? Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a juice? Okay. And you may also show your visitor around. If you're working in a company, you have to show, um, it's up to you. I mean, if it's safe, you can show him around. Let me show you around. Let me show you around our Rikil Shirkaun Makan. This is, and that is, and you start to introduce things to him or her. Let me introduce you too, to somebody, if he doesn't know this one. He is in charge of, and you define what, 
this man or this woman is doing in the company. So he is or she is in charge of Masul Ankaz. Okay, it's responsible for. Okay, move on to the last um, exercise here. We have a passage. I'm going to read it for you. Uh, new offices for Pfizer. So you ignore the P. The P is silent here. So this is a pharmaceutical company, Sherkit Adwea, Mashura Fee, New York, the America. It's an American company, Pfizer. Okay, the P is silent. Don't pronounce the P here. Don't pronounce the P. Right, Pfizer. Um, in 2005, in 2005, the Czech branch of the pharmaceutical company, Pfizer, so pharmaceutical means Sharikat Adwe, pharmaceuticals company, Sharikat Muntagat Adwe. Um, Lihum branch, Lihum Fara Fichik, Daulas Machik in Europe. Al Fara Al Fichik, Daulat Amali, moved into its new offices, moved into Yan Intakala, moved into its new offices. The original offices didn't have many meeting spaces. Original offices and Makatib al Asli al Qadimayani didn't have many meeting spaces. Fiash, um, Misahat, or Farahat for meeting, or, um, Amakil, the Akadigal Satyani. So it was near Riani. So it was difficult for teams. Difficult sub for teams and departments to work well together. The new offices are a better place for teams and communication. The new offices are a better place for teams and communication. Communication, I had no idea on communication, not at all. Inside, we dahila deal offices and new offices, yani, there are a lot of open spaces, misahat maftuha, open spaces for employees to meet and talk. So they can meet and talk. Coffee areas where they can have drinks, meeting rooms, etc. Uh, the staff cafeteria seats to 100 people. The staff cafeteria, cafeteria seats 100 people. And it has 100 people and has a garden which can be used for meetings too. The offices, though, are small, small, so people can concentrate when they need to. So that they can concentrate. What's the meaning of concentrate? Yes. يعني يركز, concentrate when they need to. If they need to concentrate, they can they, the, the offices, because they are small, they allow them to concentrate. Communication between departments was also very important. Tawasul, our letter, being in departments, Aksan. Mohammed, very important. So the medical, uh, sorry, the medical marketing and sales departments, Aksan, Lia, Tubia, Tawala, near pharmaceutical, marketing, Tasukia, we sales, Kasmul Mabiad, are connected. Mutwasalin is a by stairs and Abra Salalim stairs and small meeting areas. We are making the Dayukal Lektimar, Sahir al between the floors, Bin Il Adwardi. Altogether, the new offices are a comfortable, Safamian, new offices are a comfortable place to work, comfortable, comfortable, and Makan Muria place to work with a balance of balance feet, balance of. Open spaces, a mekan maftuha for good communication, let's all guide bin and department, and small spaces for individual work. If you bardo a mekan sarira for individual work, li la amal fadi. So they have both open spaces and small spaces. Okay, so we have a number of questions here um, for this uh, passage, comprehension passage. Um, if you look at them, so how are Pfizer's new offices different from the old ones? So the, the company now has new offices. How far they are different? This is a good question. Do you know the, the answer? The old, 
offices didn't have any mini meeting space. ما كانش فيها meeting spaces. أماكن للاجتماع. But the new offices have open spaces for meeting. But the new offices, the new offices have uh, open spaces for meeting. في أماكن مفتوحة للاجتماع. Do the staff work in big or small offices? بيل الستاف بيعملوا في big ولا small offices? I think they pay, they work in small offices. بيعملوا في أماكن صغيرة. ليه? So that they can concentrate. Okay. So how does the design help department, departments to work together? كيف إنه تصميم the design, تصميم المكاتب الجديدة help ويساعد الأقسام departments to work together إنهم يعملوا سويا how the new design connects يوصل بين different departments by عن طريق A stairs very good سلالم and meeting areas between floors meeting areas between floors so now a question for it's, it's about your personal experience like what is your work workspace like do you have a, a lot of open spaces? Are the different departments well located? So this is if, in case you are working in a company, so you would describe to us how, how is your company. Okay, by this we come to the end of this, um, of this unit, unit seven. We only have one unit left, unit eight. We're gonna study it next week, inshallah. I will record the lectures for you as well. Um, so you, the reason I'm recording these lectures for you is that you can listen to them at any time. You can keep um, listening to them whenever you are free. So you may improve your English as well. Um, just in case you have any questions, I will be available as well on um, Fridays and Saturdays from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. live. Uh, on Blackboard, so you can come join me, you can ask any questions about this unit, Unit 7, and I will be happy to answer uh, your questions either on Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. or on Saturday from 4 to 5 p.m. Or uh, another way of communication, if you have any question, you can uh, WhatsApp it on the group, say, I don't understand this, can you please answer this? Okay. The grammatical rule you need to remember today is to you how to use this um, that this little qarib is yani qarib this is or this was or this will this is my book this is my house this is my car how to use that tool that is my book that is my house that is my car will gamma be kundis uh, so you can say these are my books. Uh, the could to be these are my books. Those are my books. Those are my books. Okay. Also, when you give directions, you use the imperative. Fa'lil amr. You go, go right, go left. Uh, turn right, turn left. Go straight. But if you want to me to be more polite, you say you go. You go right. You go left. You turn right, you turn left, you go straight. Okay? When you speak to people, um, you want to be more polite in giving directions, you should use you before the verb. Um, so it, it may not sound very imperative. Okay? Um, right. I, I hope you enjoyed the lecture and inshallah, um, I see you uh, the next one. Oh, I see you on Friday or Saturday, virtually speaking. Thank you very much for your attention and for your um, interest in learning more and more. Uh, see you. Assalamu alaikum.